You ever feel like you're constantly getting shut down? Like your requests fall on deaf ears? Well, what if I told you there's a secret weapon hidden in the depths of psychology? A sneaky trick that can turn that frown upside down? Buckle up, because today we're cracking the code of persuasion. We're talking about the foot in the door technique, a psychological ninja that can get you almost anything you want. We're talking raises, dates, dream vacations. The possibilities are endless. By the end of this video, you'll be a master manipulator. Well, not exactly a manipulator, but a master of persuasion. You'll understand the science behind compliance and how to use this ethical technique to get those yes rolling in. So, are you ready to unlock the secrets of the universe? Well, maybe not the universe, but definitely the secrets to getting what you want. Let's dive in. Welcome to the Abyss of Wisdom. What is the foot in the door technique? Now, let's meet your new best friend. The foot in the door technique. Imagine a salesperson who, instead of barging in with a high pressure pitch, politely sticks their foot in the doorway, keeping it slightly ajar. This sneaky tactic is exactly what the foot in the door technique is all about. It's a persuasion strategy with a long and fascinating history. Back in 1966, two psychologists, Friedman and Fraser, conducted a groundbreaking study. They visited California housewives and asked if they'd be willing to allow a team of workers into their homes to install large, cumbersome cleaning products. As you might guess, most housewives politely declined. But here's the twist. A week later, Friedman and Fraser returned with a much smaller request. A simple survey about household products. This time, guess what? The vast majority of those who initially shut the door agreed to the survey. So, what's the secret sauce behind this psychological magic trick? It all boils down to two key ingredients, consistency and commitment. Once someone agrees to a small request, they feel a sense of obligation to be consistent with their initial decision. They see themselves as the type of person who helps out who follows through on commitments. This tiny shift in self-perception makes them much more likely to say yes to a bigger request down the line. Psychology of compliance. But wait, there's more to this story than meets the eye. The foot in the door technique taps into the fascinating world of compliance. Why, you ask? Do we humans so readily bend to the will of others? Well. Buckle up psychology buffs, because we're about to explore the key factors that make us more likely to say yes. First up, we have the power of the social crowd. We humans are wired to crave social approval. When we see others complying with a request, it creates a sense of social proof. We think, hey, if everyone else is doing it, it must be okay. Then there's the authority figure. We're naturally inclined to follow the lead of those we perceive as experts or in positions of power. A doctor's recommendation carries more weight than a stranger's off-the-cuff advice. And last, but not least, the principle of reciprocity. We feel a strong urge to return favors. If someone does something nice for us, we feel obligated to do something nice in return. The foot in the door Technique masterfully combines these psychological factors. By starting small and building a sense of consistency and obligation, it increases the chances of a resounding yes when it truly matters. Real life applications, sneaking yes into every aspect of your life. Now that you understand the power of the foot in the door technique, let's see it in action. This bad boy can be your secret weapon in all sorts of situations. Everyday situations. Imagine you need a favor from a friend. Maybe you're going on vacation and need someone to water your plants. 
Instead of jumping straight to house sitting, use the foot in the door. Start by asking them for a smaller favor, like watering the plants. Once they agree, they've established themselves as the helpful friend in their own mind. This makes them much more likely to agree to the bigger favor of house sitting later, business and negotiations. Now, let's take it to the business world. Imagine you're a salesperson trying to close a deal. The foot in the door technique can be your golden ticket. Start by offering a small concession, like a free sample or a free consultation. This builds trust and a sense of obligation. Then, when you present your actual offer, they're already primed to say yes. Personal relationships. But the foot in the door technique isn't just for salespeople and friends. It can even improve your relationships. Need your partner to help out more around the house. Start by asking them to tackle a smaller chore, like taking out the trash. Once they've established themselves as the trash taking outer, suggest splitting a bigger chore, like cleaning the whole kitchen. See? The foot in the door technique is a versatile tool that can be used in almost any situation. Stay tuned because next up, we'll give you a step-by-step -step guide to mastering this persuasive superpower. Mastering the foot in the door. Your step-by-step -step guide to, yes. Now you've seen the magic of the foot in the door. Technique in action. But how do you wield this persuasive power yourself? Let's break it down into a simple three-step plan to turn you into a yes. Getting machine. Step one. Start small, my friend. Start small. Remember, this technique is all about that initial yes. Don't come barreling in like a bull in a china shop with your biggest request. Instead, think small, think cute. Your first request should be something so reasonable, so easy to agree to, that it would be rude to say no. Think watering a plant, signing a petition, or a quick favor for a friend. Step two, build bridges, not walls. Once you've secured that initial, Yes, it's time to build on that momentum. Here's the key. Gradually increase the size and scope of your requests. Don't jump from watering a plant to house sitting immediately. Take it. Step by step. Maybe ask your friend to help you move a few boxes first. Then ease into the house sitting request. The key is to make the escalation feel natural. A logical progression from the initial agreement. Step three, consistency is king or queen. Remember, consistency is the glue that holds this technique together. Once someone agrees to a request, they've subconsciously labeled themselves as the type of person who follows through. Respect their initial decision and keep your requests consistent with that image. Don't ask for something completely out of character. That will break the spell and risk a no. By following these three simple steps, you'll be a foot in the door master in no time. But wait, there's more. Coming up next, we'll explore some common mistakes to avoid and delve deeper into the fascinating science behind this technique. Stay tuned. Foot in the door. Don'ts. Avoiding the nope zone. All right, you've got the basic steps down, but wielding the foot in the door technique requires finesse. Here are some common pitfalls to avoid so you don't end up with a face full of rejection. Mistake one, the overzealous ogre. Remember, subtlety is key. Don't be the ogre who barges in with a giant request. Start small. Remember, if you bombard someone with a huge favor right off the bat, it'll backfire faster than a faulty rocket launch. People will feel pressured and resentful, and that yes, you crave, will vanish faster than a magician's rabbit. Mistake two, the phony friend. Here's the golden rule, be genuine. People can sniff out insincerity a mile away, 
don't just use the foot in the door technique to manipulate someone. If your requests are genuine and show you care, the yeses will flow more naturally. Remember, building trust and positive relationships is key to long-term success. So, avoid the ogre act and ditch the phony friend facade. Be genuine, start small, and watch the power of the foot in the door technique unfold. Coming up next, we'll dive deeper into the science behind this persuasion powerhouse and even explore some real-world success stories. Science of Yes, unveiling the psychology of persuasion. The foot-in-the-door technique isn't just some parlor trick. It's built on a foundation of fascinating social psychology research that helps us understand how people think, behave, and, most importantly for our purposes, why they say yes. Social psychology is a treasure trove of experiments that illuminate the inner workings of the human mind, especially when it comes to persuasion. Deep dive into persuasion experiments. Let's delve deeper into some compelling experiments that shed light on the science of yes. Take the Milgram experiment, for example. This controversial study explored obedience to authority. Participants were instructed to deliver increasingly painful electric shocks, actually fake, to another person, an actor. The results were shocking. A surprisingly high percentage of people complied with the experimenter's demands, even when it caused discomfort. This experiment highlights the power of authority figures and our tendency to follow orders, even if they go against our conscience. Another fascinating study is the door in the face technique, a close cousin of the foot in the door. In this experiment, researchers first asked participants to make a large, unreasonable request, like donating a significant sum of money. Most people unsurprisingly declined. But then, the researchers followed up with a much smaller, more realistic request, like signing a petition. Guess what? People were significantly more likely to agree to the smaller request after having initially rejected the larger one. This experiment demonstrates the concept of contrast, where something seems smaller or more reasonable after being compared to something much bigger. The power of social norms. Social psychology also reveals the power of social norms. We humans are wired to conform to the behavior of those around us. The famous Ash Conformity experiments demonstrated this perfectly. Participants were shown lines of different lengths and asked to identify the longest one. However, most participants went along with the group consensus, even if it was demonstrably wrong. This experiment highlights our desire to fit in and avoid social disapproval. The foot-in-the-door technique leverages this by creating a sense of this is what helpful people do, making the target more likely to comply with the second, larger request. Lessons learned from persuasion science. So, what can we learn from these experiments? They offer valuable insights into human behavior and compliance. We tend to follow cues from authority, conform to social norms, and feel a sense of obligation to reciprocate favors. The foot in the door technique masterfully taps into these very principles, making it a powerful tool for ethical persuasion when used with genuine intentions. But persuasion, science goes beyond the lab. Coming up next, We'll explore some real-world success stories that showcase the foot in the door technique in action. Stay tuned. Foot in the door in action. Real-world success stories. The foot in the door technique isn't just some theoretical concept gathering dust in a psychology textbook. It's a powerful tool used by individuals and businesses alike to achieve impressive results. Let's look at some real-life examples of the foot and the door. In action. Saving the environment one small step at a time. Take environmental organizations, for example. 
They often use the foot in the door technique to encourage eco-friendly habits. Instead of bombarding you with guilt trips about your carbon footprint, they might start with a smaller request, like signing a petition to protect endangered animals. Once you've agreed to that initial request, you're more likely to consider bigger steps, like using reusable grocery bags or switching to energy, efficient light bulbs, the art of the upsell. Businesses can also leverage the foot in the door technique to boost sales. Imagine a salesperson who starts by offering a free sample or a complimentary consultation. This small gesture builds trust and creates a sense of obligation. When the salesperson presents the actual product, the customer is already primed to say yes. Thanks to the power of the foot in the door, the charity drive with a twist, even charitable organizations can benefit from this technique. Instead of asking for a large donation up front, they might start by requesting volunteers for a fundraising event. Once someone has donated their time and effort, they're more likely to feel a sense of ownership and, and contribute financially as well. The key ingredient, authenticity. But remember, the foot in the door technique works best when used with authenticity. People can smell insincerity a mile away. So focus on building genuine connections and using this technique to make requests that are mutually beneficial. These are just a few examples of the foot in the door. Techniques power in the real world. Stay tuned, because next up, we'll wrap things up and give you some actionable tips to put this technique to work in your own life. Wrapping up. Unleash the persuasion power within. All right, let's recap this foot. In the door magic, we've explored the power of starting small, building on agreements, and harnessing the psychology of consistency to get those coveted yeses. Remember, the foot in the door technique isn't about manipulation. It's about understanding how people think and using that understanding to build trust and cooperation. By starting small and building momentum, you can gently nudge people towards your desired outcome. The power of subtle psychology is undeniable. By mastering the foot in the door technique, you can unlock a world of possibilities. From getting that raise, you deserve to strengthening your relationships with loved ones. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more persuasion, hacks and mind-blowing social psychology secrets. We're constantly diving into the fascinating world of how our minds work and how to use that knowledge to get the results you want. Until then, get out there and start getting those yeses rolling. Let us know in the comments below how you plan to use the foot in the door technique. We can't wait to hear your success stories.